I think we're good to go. Okay. What's up, fellas? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be doing something I think I've done in the past before ish, kind of like the same thing, but today we're going to be talking about the top 10 purchases I've made, or these are also things that companies have sent me that I'm so glad that I have now, that I think like people would really benefit from if they're looking for something in the market. These are 10 things I cannot live without, that I use daily, weekly basis. Also, I want to do this video because I think like the holidays are coming up, if you guys are looking, you know, for gift ideas for runners or just for people in general. Hopefully that this can give you some good ideas. So, well, first I need uh, my phone to tell me what the list is. Is this lighting even good? I can't even tell. First thing on the list, we're gonna get right into it. First thing on the list, you know, well, this is this might be controversial, but I don't care. Okay, I'm owning it. This is real. This is me. You guys see these bad boys? These are Crocs. Okay, I just recently got these, and I am. So glad I did, okay? It's like the new and improved version of a slide, okay? I'm a person that's obsessed with slides. So these, you know, they take it into another level. Slides when I wear them, especially in Oregon where it rains a lot, the tops of my feet and my toes get all wet because it rains. But with these Crocs, they're pretty much covered on the top except for those holes, just don't mind those. I don't know, I love them, they're comfortable. I can't believe that I'm talking about Crocs right now on my channel, but I love Crocs. So, I'm gonna put these back on my feet. That's number one, if you're looking for a good, I think this would be a good gift. I wouldn't mind getting some Crocs for Christmas. I'm just putting that out there. Okay, another topic of shoes. These bad boys right here, they're quite dirty because I've worn them so much. I just got them in like October. These are the Woman's Nike Tanjun High Rise. I'll put it on the screen so that you guys can see what it's spelled like. Um, these have been a staple of mine this winter. They're like combat booty, but they uh, they have good support, and I even wore them today, and like it was it was raining today. My feet were nice and warm, but they're not like too warm. It's not like they're like really fuzzy inside, but they definitely keep the feet warm. They're a little bit fuzzy. So if you live in like a little bit colder weather, I live in Oregon, so it gets like decently cold, but nothing too like crazy. Uh, it was like 40 something degrees today, and these were perfect. So. They also have a little tie in the back so you can like secure this part to your calf so that it doesn't get cold on the inside. I really like these. Okay, moving on to something a little different. So, on my Instagram a little bit sometimes, people ask me like what my skincare routine is and guys I have the worst skincare routine ever. So I've never really done a skincare routine on my channel. But the one thing, one thing I can't live without and always needs to be stocked in my shower is this Neutrogena grapefruit oil-free acne wash, pink grapefruit foaming scrub. It doesn't really foam, I don't know why it's called that. But this is literally one of the skincare things I really can't live without. I have like two, but this one definitely helps me a lot. But I think skincare is so personal that you just kind of like need to try and see what works best for your skin. I have pretty oily skin, so that like helps dry it out, which I really like. I don't like having oily skin. But if you have like really dry skin, I don't think that would be the best for you. So, just try it out if you want, if you're looking for something skincare wise that's gonna help, you know, dry out the oil from your skin, your pores, that's good. Kind of along the same lines, but not really at all. The next thing we're gonna talk about is this Hollister perfume. Okay, yes, I'm 23, I still shop at Hollister sometimes, but this is the, I forgot what it's called, it's called the Malaya? I definitely said that wrong, but this is by far my favorite perfume ever. It's so nice, so good, highly recommend. I don't know, it just smells so good. So if you're looking for a new perfume, Hollister, Goat. All right, completely different topic now. Um, but the next thing I can't live without are these MRM BCAAs. Ever since I started taking BCAAs a couple months ago, um, my life has been changed. I was the usual like protein shake kind of gal after I worked out, um, which I think does definitely help, especially when I was like trying to get calories in. But when I'm just trying to reduce like my muscle soreness the next day, these have been lifesavers. I don't know really what it is. I don't know the science behind it. I'm not a scientist, but MRM makes a great BCAAs. And I've been using this Island Fusion flavor for months now and I cannot live without it now. It's literally so good. And I've like noticed a drastic change in soreness level um, just from taking these. So yeah, BCAA plus G, we love it. This is my favorite one, MRM Reload um, Island Fusion flavor. Okay, the next thing, um, it's a little bit bigger than all my other ones. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm 
a mess. This is my air fryer. This is kind of heavy, but not really. If you guys don't know what an air fryer is, it's basically like an oven, but it works very fast and very well. I cannot recommend this purchase enough. This as well as like a food processor, the two main things I use in the kitchen. This is good for literally cooking anything. You can cook, I like cooking potatoes, I like cooking like salmon, chicken, like I can cook anything in here. So good, vegetables, you can cook it all. Also I really like to meal prep and then reheat my stuff in here because it makes it nice and crispy. Um, this is the Gourmia one, I got it off Amazon. I got it a little while ago now, probably like a year ago. So I don't know if they still sell this model, but I'll put like the most recent model in the description down below. But air fryer, if you're a foodie, definitely a great purchase. Lives up to the hype, I love it. So the next thing is, is the biggest one of the video. Um, this is my Amazon light box. This, if you are looking to upgrade like your food photography or looking to take pictures of anything, like this light box is a lifesaver. Um, I'll put some pictures right here of what it looks like open, but it might be a little bit hard to show myself. I went from not being able to take pictures at night to I can take pictures at 3 in the morning if I want to because this light works so well. Um, it's really helped take my food Instagram to the next level. Uh, it makes my photos look a lot more professional and I know brands really like it that I work with and yeah, I don't know, like sometimes I sell clothes on Poshmark too and if it's like nighttime and I try to take photos in my room and it's really dark, I just pop them in the light box and it works so well. If you're looking to upgrade like your food photography or if you just like need to take pictures of anything, I definitely recommend uh, this Amazon light box. I've had like lights in the past before, like lights that actually like come down on whatever object that you're taking a picture of, but this light box just works so much better. It's like, I mean it folds up as you saw, so it's just like it's very portable compared to like if you were to use those lights and the light like hits at all angles. So I, I just love the Amazon light box. I use it almost every day. Highly recommend. All right, the eighth thing that I cannot live without, Aftershocks headphones. These have been a game changer. Like seriously, they are headphones. They go right here. They don't go in your ear. I'm gonna put them over my hair because they look weird. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, well usually I have my hair up. I look like I'm from the future. But basically they're bone conducting headphones so they go right here. And then you can hear everything that's going on around you while also listening to your music or podcast or whatever. So I love these when I bike. That way I can hear the entire road, what's going on around me. It's a lot safer than using actual headphones. Um, and then same when I'm running. Like if I'm running either early in the morning or at night or if I just wanna like hear my surroundings, these help so much. I feel way more safe when I run with these at like the early hours of the day just because I, get, I know exactly what's going on around me. I know if cars are coming. I highly recommend these. I love them. Another thing that I love is this Garmin Forerunner 235. I use this watch almost every day. It's perfect for workouts, perfect for easy runs. I literally have no complaints about this Garmin. In terms of GPS watches, it's a fair price and it does everything and more that I could ask for. I have no complaints. If you're looking to get a Garmin that tracks like distance, heart rate, time, whatever. This one also has biking and especially over the summer I was using this a lot for biking. So I, literally, I have no complaints about this watch. I don't even know what else to say because there's nothing I would fix. I just love it, I use it for everything. It's great for literally interval workouts, anything you could ask for, this is the best. One thing I literally cannot live without is my Canon G7X. This is my vlogging camera that I pretty much use every single time I'm out and about. I also have, what I'm filming on right now is a Canon EOS 80D, but that one I, I use mostly for interviews and for like sit down videos like this because it has a better microphone. But this one is just so portable as you can see. I also have this little tripod, which is great because it can wrap around things, but this came separately. We're not talking about the tripod. But this camera is great. It flips up so it's like a true vlogging style camera. You can see yourself. <laughs> And even though it's like a little bit more pricey than other cameras that you would see like in this size, I think it's a great, great camera if you're looking to make an investment. So when I first started my YouTube channel, I was filming on an iPhone, which was great. If you're starting your YouTube channel, I highly recommend you just use your iPhone because there are a lot of factors that could go into it. I don't really recommend at first investing in a camera that, that is this expensive because you don't need to. Um, just test the waters with YouTube, see how you like it with your iPhone. After you've made videos and you know that like you're gonna stick to it and everything, I think this would be a great investment if you're really serious about YouTube. This is the PowerShot G7X Mark II, and it's great. The sound is great, the quality is amazing, and I definitely, definitely recommend if you're looking to get into vlogging, this plus a tripod, great, great tool. 
Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, it was pretty short, sweet. This was just 10 things that I really can't live without purchases I've made or that have been gifted to me. Um, hopefully you guys got some good like gift ideas or if you were just looking for something to invest in, uh, these are definitely my recommendations. Make sure to follow me on my Instagrams here. Um, I post all the time, I try to post every day. And if you're not subscribed already, you know, hit the subscribe button down below. Join the fella family. And fellas, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.